Hi my beautiful Taurians. Welcome to my channel, Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten and I've got your love dynamic reading for the month of April all laid out for you. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry I was not able to do your March readings. Life just got very hectic as I'm sure you will understand once I get into your reading. I know you know. Life can get very busy. Um, so I really apologize and that's why I'm doing your first for April. So, um, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. I really appreciate all of my subscribers and all of the wonderful comments that I have received. Um, thank you so much. I am available to do personal readings. My information is in the description box below. I am also a Reiki energy practitioner. If any of you need some Reiki work or energy healing or clearing, please let me know. We can work out something in that respect. And I am a hypnotherapist. Um, so bear that in mind if you have any difficulties that you're dealing with and you think hypnotherapy might um, address those issues. I can certainly help you there. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got two rows and three columns. And um, I don't know what I could call this spread. It's kind of like the first column is you, Taurus. It's you, your situation, how you're feeling, what's in your outer environment. It just gives me a snapshot of where you are at present time and what you're feeling and hoping for. And the uh, far right column is your potential partner, uh, whoever or whoever you're involved with or someone of your interest, um, and any other outer influences that are, ha are, are you know, having an impact on your love life. And below that gives me uh, a little bit more information about what's going on in their environment and also their internal motivations. In the center at the bottom, um, that section tells me about uh, advice that the universe has for you and a little bit more guidance about the situation and the dynamic between you and your love interest. And then the, the, the uh, top middle section is just kind of a follow-up and outcome. There's no real finalized outcome to a monthly reading or to any reading. Life just continues. The struggle goes on, right? Um, but it just kind of sums up the reading in a nice way. And then I'll be pulling an oracle card for you at the end of the reading. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, at the top left, we have the Ten of Wands. We, uh, from the Will of the Year uh, tarot deck. I'm using playing cards, the Will of the Year tarot deck, and also oracle cards from Amira's Love Oracle. Um, and that's by a woman who does readings on YouTube. Her name is Amira Salon. Amira with an A, Salon with a C. And um, I really love these cards. They're very beautiful, and they add a lot of dimension, I think, to the reading. And then I'm also using Sibylla Oracle. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Wands in the top left. So I know, like I said before, Taurus, you understand the struggle. You understand hard work. You're going through it right now. Some of you are just exhausted. You are played out, and you're overworked. You're overburdened. Something has got you um, really, really... Um, you have to buckle down now. You have to call on all of your inner strength. What's going on? Um, you know, let, let, let me actually start with the dating queen. Let me go up to the dating queen. What is the dating queen telling me here? I feel like for, for a lot of you Tauruses, for the month of April, you're going to be stepping into your own power. An understanding of your power and how to utilize it properly. I think you've been... Um, I think you've been utilizing it um, in all the wrong ways. I think the message here that I'm getting just intuitively right now, I'm getting you need to work smarter, not harder. You're working too hard. Um, the dating queen is about stepping into your own power. She has great potential to shine. So she's asking you to shine. Um, do your thing um, like you always do. And others are going to really admire this about you. They're going to really admire your tenacity, your um, your strength, your ability not to give up during a hardship. It's really a beautiful thing, and that's what the dating queen is telling you. But this ten of wands tells me that you're going through difficulties. You brought this in with you into April. It's not something new. Um, difficulties in your circumstances, in your love life, in your environment. Somehow, some ways, you Torians are going through a hardship. Um, 
you are either dependent upon others or others are dependent upon you and it's a heavy burden to carry and some of you are just exhausted by that burden but you're not giving up you're finding a way and you're going the distance because you are very strong and others like I said admire that strength they not only admire your strength but your capability yeah Taurus you're capable not a lot of people are capable and there's there's an energy of you do it with pizzazz you do it with a sense of ease you handle these hardships and um, you're an inspiration to a lot of people trust that but I want you to know Taurus that even though you're so very very capable it's okay for you to ask for help you don't have to do everything by yourself see this woman carrying this load of watermelons up this steep hill but she's already probably traveled quite a long distance uh, she had to get someone to help her out she's so got this young man he's helping her it's okay to ask for help it's okay to receive help you don't have to do it all by yourself six of clubs reverse here from playing cards tells me that you don't ask for help because you don't feel like the others around you are dependable or reliable in some way Um, you can't count on it with that page of Pentacles below you can't count on other people or you don't feel like you can you don't trust other people you don't count you don't you you don't want to be dependent upon other people you don't want to be dependent upon other people that's the strong message there I think some of you are finding yourself um, in, a, in a situation where you don't feel in control and you Tauruses like to be in control and there's also a little message here from the Six of Clubs reversed to be cautious with your money during the month of April. Now below that we've got the Page of Pentacles, the True Gem reversed from a Mirror's, Mirror's Oracle deck, the King of Clubs from the Playing Card deck, and the, uh, God, I'm trying to, to read this Italian, the Six of Clubs from the Sibylla deck. Consolate Sorpresa. I think it's a surprise consolation is what it means. Okay. So what is this section telling me? This is um, tell, this is regarding your outer environment um, and its influence upon you and also your inner desires and needs. You know, what you're focused on. And you're very focused. You've got this page of pentacles. Look how hard she's looking at um, her money. She's counting every everything up. She's adding it all up. She's not letting these beautiful grapes that are above her distract her from her task at hand. She's got to count this money up. She's got to make it work, right? That's your mindset. But let's start with True Gem. True Gem is reversed. And this, when it's upright, means a gift or a surprise. It's also um, a card about magic, magical happenings. But here it's reversed. So, what is what is True Gem trying to tell me for you? I feel like uh, someone wants to give you a gift or a gift of help or an actual literal gift or an offer of some kind, maybe an offer of love or intimacy. Some of you might be involved in a new relationship. Let me go back up um, to Ten of Wands. But you're finding this new relationship to be um, difficult because you're overworked or work is getting in the way you have other responsibilities um, other demands that are making your love life more difficult some of you may be dealing with a partner who is in some way um, bothersome or insensitive to you and your needs you're feeling very stressed out and impatient with your situation Okay, um, some of you are just feeling really overwhelmed. Um, you've taken on too much responsibility or you are too dependent upon others and it's overwhelming you and you're very dissatisfied with the situation.
but you're insisting on finding a solution to it all by yourself. And like I said before, you need to um, allow others to help you. Now going back down, we've got the true gem, and I said the true gem here is reverse. Normally it means a gift, um, a magical gift, or, or magic, or a surprise, but here it's reverse, so I'm thinking that somebody wants to give you a gift, or to help you in some way, or maybe offering you love or intimacy. Somehow you, because it's reverse, you are not impressed by this gift. Or you are not, you're refusing the gift, or you're refusing the offer, or you're just not impressed by it. It's not, it's not um, pulling you away from, you see the page of Pentacles again, it's not pulling you away from your focus. Okay, this attractive offer is not pulling you away from your focus. So, um, I was still a little bit unclear what this true gem was trying to say, so I pulled a Sibylla card to clarify the, uh, uh, surprise constellation, the Six of Clubs, and what that card is telling me is, um, that this gift, this offer of help, this, uh, offer of love or intimacy, um, will actually prove, see this man is, he, he put his fishing net in the water to catch some fish, but he actually pulled out this bag of money. So he got a surprise. He got a, a, a really nice surprise he wasn't expecting. So um, I think what it's trying to say is this, this gift, this offer that you're kind of um, refusing or kind of not impressed by is actually going to prove to be a lot more valuable than you realize. And for some of you, this True Gem card will represent an engagement, an engagement ring, or making a relationship official. But somehow, again, like I said, in connection with the top cards, this is burdensome to you at this time. And... Um, I guess if this were tarot, this true gem would be the Four of Cups. You know, you're kind of like um, upping your, thumbing your nose up at the offer, or it's, it's just, somehow it's just, it's not the right time for this, or it's difficult. Okay, so now let's go to the Page of Pentacles. Again, I said this, this woman is very focused on her goal. She's not being um, swayed by the attractive grapes above her head. Because she feels she has so much to be responsible for, she cannot allow herself to be distracted. This might be why you're, you're snubbing um, this potential offer that's in your vicinity, that is upon you right Sorry, Taurus, I had to edit the tape there. My dog um, knocked over something. Also, if you hear a fan in the background, um, I apologize. It's really hot here I'm in, in California this morning. And I just got back from taking my dog for a walk, so I need it on. Hope it doesn't disturb you. So let's um, begin again. we got this King of Clubs here. And the King of Clubs describes a fire sign person or fire sign-like qualities. Um, I think here it's describing two things. I think it's describing either if you're married, your mate, or a new person that wants to be in your life. They're the ones making this offer to help you in some way. It could also even be a, a really close friend, but I, I, here I'm seeing it's like a love potential. Um, they're the ones making you this offer to help you or to love you in some way. Um, and, but if it's representing you, it represents your qualities, and it shows that you just have a lot of patience, a lot of tenacity to further um, comply with what Dating Queen is, uh, what you're dealing with, and this Page of Pentacles. Um, you you have whatever it takes to deal with the situation you're trying to resolve right now, and it has your complete focus, because that's what the King of Clubs is. He's someone who's really determined. They have a lot of patience and a lot of focus. A lot of stamina and a lot of fortitude, and they're busy working hard to establish security in their life or independence, which is something that, something that you know a lot of you are dealing with. 
you know, that we're talking about a love reading. I always mention this for Taurus because it's so strong for me. My father's a Taurus, and he had a stroke last March. He's still in, in a hospital bed. He's been in a hospital bed for a year. And he hasn't eaten solid food in a year. He's struggling. He's using all of his focus right now to get out of that bed, to heal himself. And, you know, so these, these energies play out in so many different ways. But this is a love reading. So back to you, Taurus, who is looking for love. So... This king of clubs, he's very focused on his agenda, and that's what you are. He also has a tendency to fall in love um, really deeply and go all in when he's in love, okay? So you don't feel like you can afford that right now. There's something you have to pay back. There's something you have to pay for um, also, again, with that money scenario going on. So... Now, if this is a fire sign um, mate or potential of interest, I don't think you're valuing them right now with this, this true gem reverse. In some way, you're not valuing their contribution, their desire to help, or their offer of love. And... Um, Or you don't, you, you don't, you're not giving them credit for something that, that they've done. Maybe like if it's the engagement ring offer, you're not putting any, you don't think it has any substance behind it, or behind the offer. It's not that you don't think it's real, it's just that you don't think that it, you know, Right now, you don't think you can count on it. Also, if this uh, is representing another person, another party, they really want to help you. They really want to love you. I want you to know that. So let's go up to the upper right. We've got the King of Wands, the reverse family card. That's my dog. If you hear heavy breathing or barking, as my dog is in the room. Okay, so we've got the King of Wands, the Family card from Amira's Love, Love Oracle deck, but it's reversed. We've got the Ten of Hearts reversed. And as a clarification, the um, Five of Clubs from the Sibylla, the Fortuna card, which is an excellent card to get. Now, what do these cards mean? King of Wands here, again, represents a fire sign. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This is representing your person of interest or um, others in your environment that are influencing your love life. So, for some of you, you may be, uh, maybe you or your potential partner or your partner um, is worried that your family won't like him or her. So some of you um, their family is in disagreement, or their their friends, family, or colleagues are in some are somehow opposing or in disagreement to your union, or your interaction with your lover, or how you're interacting, or how they're treating you. Um, there's some sort of disagreement. They don't. They, they, there's something about it that they don't like. They are unsupportive in some way to this relationship, okay? There is some issue here where uh, loved ones um, might be um, trying to influence you not to date this person or not to um, be with this person anymore, okay? And they have a strong influence. Very persuasive. King of Wands is a very persuasive person. So, that's weighing heavily on you. Their, their disagreement with it. This Ten of Wands here tells me it's weighing really heavily on you that they can't get down with, uh, with your choices. For some of you, this represents um, an individual or person of your interest who loves you, who wants a relationship with you, 
but maybe they're already in a relationship that has gone bad, but it's not officially over yet. Somehow it's not officially over yet. So any um, offer that they make to you, you can't really count on it. Now I'm understanding this true gem card. So somehow or some way there's some sort of, with the Ten of Hearts, it tells me there's some sort of hold up. But Ten of Hearts reverse is still a good card, but there's a hold up or a delay in the love that it brings, okay? There's some sort of hold up or delay in the progress of a relationship. Or in the involvement with an individual. But I do want you to know that this person, this King of Wands, this person, like I said, they have really good qualities. They're not, they're not um, selfless. They can be selfish. They're not the most diplomatic. They could be argumentative. They like to get their own way. But they're also, they have a lot of charm and they have a lot of charisma. They're exciting, they're fun to be around, they're passionate and, and sexy. So, you know, right now I think the good, their good qualities are outweighing their bad qualities, but there's some sort of delay or blockage to this relationship. This person wants to offer you help or some excitement. They want to lift you up. The Fortuna card is always a card of rising, raising you up. They want to lift you up. They want to carry you. They want to help you. They want to support you. But you're snubbing your nose at this offer. You don't think that they can. I don't, I don't know why you don't think they can. Um, so I went ahead and I pulled the, the Fortuna card to clarify. Now the Fortuna card is a very good card. It's one of the most excellent cards in the Sibylla deck. It actually has the power to nullify any negative cards in the deck. So you have a strong omen of good fortune here. So whatever problems, whatever whatever is, is blocking this this love life, this potential. For some of you, even um, if you're married, maybe um, maybe um, some some people around you don't want you to be with this person anymore. They're trying to talk you out of this relationship in some way. Sorry, I just saw that. Um, But this Fortuna card, she brings good success, she brings momentum, she brings life, she brings joy, and she brings triumph and victory to a situation. So whatever problem is going on here, it's going to get resolved, and it's going to get settled in some sort of unexpected way, and in, in an exciting way. What does that mean? Something really exciting is going to happen for you, Taurus. Something you did not see coming. Hmm. This King of Wands, they have a really strong love or desire for you. And they will succeed in their attempt to come together with you. They're not going to give up on you. Or you won't give up on them. But uh, this, is, this is actually, this is, this is a general reading, could go either way. But let's stick with it This from their scenario. They're not going to give up on you. They're very passionate about you. They will not be dissuaded by your family or by their family or by their friends or their colleagues or your friends or your colleagues. They're going to um, keep this relationship going. They're going to make it work. They're going to get in there. 
somehow, someway. Okay. Now going back, going underneath that to the Ace of Cups, below that we have the Ace of Cups, the Twin Flame card, and the Reverse Two of Diamonds. This represents their outer environment and their feelings and their hidden agenda. And with the Ace of Cups here, it tells me that they just have huge love for you. They believe in their heart that you are their twin flame. And they're offering you help or assistance because of a deep love for you. You know? Even if it's not a romantic situation, there's, there's, a, there's, there's this deep connection here. This person wants to help you. It comes from a pure place. And now with this twin flame next to it, it tells me that you are twin flames. You and this energy. You are twin flames. This is at one of the highest soul connections. And if you're not already involved with this person that we're talking about, they're on their way to you. You will soon meet. The Two of Diamonds Reverse tells me, again, that there is some opposition coming from family, friends, and colleagues about this person. Either they don't think you're right for them, or they don't think that um, they're right for you. Especially if you're getting um, proposed to. Family, friends, and colleagues do not approve of this union. That's what this Two of Diamonds represents, and it just clarifies the family card reversed. Others don't think that you are a good match with this Twin Flame. So others don't think that you're a good match with this twin flame. Um, and I'm also seeing another scenario. I, I'm seeing, like, for some of you, um, maybe uh, friends, family, or colleagues want to match you up with someone that they think would be perfect for you, but you um, will be resisting that. Okay? All right. Resisting it, I don't know. Um, maybe you just feel like you know you don't want other people to try and control that. You know you're very much a controlling person, a little, and uh, that's just a little bit. They're infringing a little bit too much on your territory there, so you might be resisting any sort of matchmaker attempts um, from others for you. For some of you, you might be dealing with that. So, uh, I don't know if I said it already, another scenario could be, again, if I haven't repeat, I hope I'm not repeating myself too much, um, maybe if this is a situation where it's an ex that maybe you had a relationship in the past, and maybe the relationship was toxic between you, and now your family and friends are against you, you know, renewing that, rekindling that affair. Or maybe they see signs of this in another person who's interested in you. You know, that could just be where that's coming from. And also, twin flame, flame relationships can sometimes be a little toxic. So, I think that's where the opposition is coming from. That somehow they just don't feel like they're the right match for you. Um... They also may be coming from a place of, it, and it's coming. They're coming from a pure place too. This opposition, just like this, this, this King of Wands, the lover, a person of interest, deeply loves you. The people who are in disagreement with your union, they deeply love you too, and they're coming from a pure place. They want the best for you, and they might be concerned that you would give too much of yourself, or you're giving too much of yourself to this relationship. And that could be another scenario that I haven't really said yet. They could, you could, some of you could be working too hard on a relationship that is toxic, and others just don't agree with it, and they think you should get out of it. But you, you 
you still want to fight for it. Okay, I hope I didn't confuse you too much offering a little bit more there. So let's go to the center now, the center bottom section. We've got the Magician card and the uh, Reverse Control card and the Joker. So this is the position that describes the situation between you and your partner or person of interest. So I'm seeing some scenarios here, maybe um, again, just to, you know, because these, these sections kind of play on each other, so I will be repeating myself a lot in my readings. But so what I'm seeing is with, with a control card reverse, maybe you're reluctant to accept this offer with the true gem, true gem card reverse because this person is a little bit too controlling, a little bit too demanding, king of wands gets what he wants. Or if it's a previous lover, maybe they were too controlling or the relationship was toxic in that way because you lost independence in it. You know, any of those could, could be the issue. But there is uh, a fear of losing your control to another. This card of control can also be telling you not to let others control your actions or to influence your relationships. You know, family, friends, and colleagues who are very strongly opinionated and applying influence in your love life. So you're being told, because this is also the advice uh, section. I'm sorry, I may not have said that. It's also a section that gives you advice, okay? So you're being told not to let them control you, you have to make up your own mind in that scenario. The message here is to take your control back. And with the Magician card next to it, that's exactly what you're doing, Taurus. In April, you're taking control back. You might overdo it. You might take it to an extreme with this Ten of Wands. But you're going to take control back. There's also a message here that um, you <laughs> you need to be some of you need to be aware that you're too controlling of others, and it's important to allow others to live their truth. I think that this is not a message. For just some of you. I think that this is an overall message for all of you Tauruses. I think this is kind of like the epitome of the lesson you're supposed to garner from this month's reading for me. And that is that um, in some way the situation that you are in that you're struggling with right now is because is caused energetically by your trying to control people or circumstances too tightly. It's important to allow others to live their truth, Taurus. It's important to live and let live. And I think that is a very powerful message with the Magi, a very powerful message that you're supposed to take from this reading. Now, speaking of the Magi, the Magician, I call him the Magi. Um, he's got all the resources at his disposal. He's got all the elements, the cup, the wand, the sword, the pentacle. Everything is on his table. He can control events. He's the controller. We've got the control card in reverse. Control is the problem. Control is the issue. Finding the right balance. If anybody can make something happen, and something needs to happen, you got a dilemma, something that you need to fix, right? A struggle that you're dealing with. You can do it. You know you can. The King of Wands knows he can. So be uplifted with this Fortuna card and don't give up. Some of you need to hear that. 
That's your advice. But also, live and let live. You can only control yourself and no one else. In April, you need to let others help you. You need to let others love you. You need to let others support you. Let them give you your strength. Let them give you their strength. Just do it. And see what, see what happens. Just allow for it, you know? I think that Taurus... If you, do, if you can't see it, you don't believe it. Why am I saying that? I think I'm saying that because there's some sort of uncertainty. You feel like um, even though there's a great love on offer for you, there's a loyal, remember I mentioned that loyal dog next to the king of wands, a really loyal person in your corner, you don't trust it. You don't believe it. You don't have faith in it. You only have faith in yourself. Part of that live and let live that I mentioned earlier is, you know, you need to, God, how do I say this? I, I don't really know how to convey it. I just feel like you need to have faith that other people can, won't let you down. Um, That's the best way I can say it. So I just really feel like you need to uh, let others support you in April. Remember, Fortuna showed up in your reading. She brings good luck, she brings success, and she brings a surprise. So something unexpected is going to happen. And you might find, if you allow others to help you, or to love you, just how very valuable others can be, you know, that they can be dependable. You might come to that realization. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Now the Joker card, the Joker card can mean anything, it's a wild card. So I think it's just trying to support your, uh, the universe is saying, let the unexpected happen. Let go of some control of what you can't control, you know, other people and other circumstances. You can only focus on yourself. Um, everything else, you have, to, you have to just let it, let fate transpire as it will. And, um, and, and uh, wow, I'm, I'm reading what the Joker means here. Uh, he just corroborates everything I just said. Again, he says that we are foolish to try and control other people's lives and circumstances. We can only control ourselves, what I just said. So I think for some of you in April, I'm getting a little esoteric care of it. And I think I've kind of gone away from the love reading a little bit. Um, but I feel like a great shift and a transformation is going to occur for you, Taurus. If you can accept this valuable lesson about letting go of control. And letting others help you. Trusting that they can. King of Wands, one of his definitions is... He says, I can. He's coming from your partner's side of the reading. They can help you. Believe that. Give them a chance. Now looking at these cards here, intuitively, and not from any definition that I've read, intuitively I feel with this Fortuna, with the Magi, and with the True Gem, and this uh, surprise consolation. Some of you think you need a miracle to get out of whatever situation you're in that you're, you're struggling with. 
That's why you have this, this solid focus and why you're, you're denying any distractions. You're not any, letting anybody else in. You feel like you have to do it all by yourself. You feel like you need a miracle. Some of you are going to get your miracle. Fortuna, the Magi, and this true gem. This grand surprise, uh, a surpri surprise cons consolation. You're going to get a miracle. A great transformation and a miracle. Don't ask me what it is. Fortuna's not telling me. It's unexpected. Watch and wait. Let me know if this rhymes with anyone and if anyone gets a miracle. I want, really want to know. Okay. Uh, final three cards. In the top center, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Brunette Female, and the Reverse Ace of Diamonds. This is your outcome section, and sometimes it gives more advice. So this card, the Eight of Pentacles, is telling me, again, um, that you might, some of you might be allowing work or your responsibilities to get from under a, a burden or uh, your responsibilities to others to interfere with your love relationship or your partnership. Okay? It is strongly saying that you are diligent, you are dedicated, you are focused, all these things we've already said, on finding a solution to your struggle in April, or whatever it is that's currently occupying you and your focus. You are saying with this card and with all of your might, next to this magi, you're saying, I will work my magic, I will do my thing, I will get this under control, I will work it out, with or without anyone else's help. But you don't have to make such a declaration because help is available to you, Taurus. And the universe is telling you to take it. The brunette female here, I think um, this card represents you, Taurus, whoever you are, male or female. It just represents that you are your main focus for the month. I think some of you are hard-headed. You're not going to take this advice. You're going to continue to do you and do it all by yourself. You can't help it. It's hardwired. But try. Please really try because there's a great surprise here for you if you can let others help. Let others in. So she represents you. You are your main focus in April. Now the Ace of Diamonds reverse. This, this is an odd, odd, kind of an odd card to end on. Odd because it talks about money again. And this is a love reading. But it once again warns to be cautious with your spending. There's a tendency to overspend on something. And you may have some financial setbacks that you uh, end up dealing with. And, be, and could become burdensome to your relationship, to some of you. Um, this card also represents just that you're trying to correct or find a solution to a problem in April. So I guess it's kind of summing up their reading. That you're still working on it. You're still going to be working on it at the end of April. It's a work in progress. And um, it's difficult to relinquish control, to 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 let others have an upper hand, or or um, to be dependent on others. But um, it's necessary. The universe is saying you don't have to do it alone. Please don't do it alone. So that's the end of the reading. Um, I hope it resonated with someone. Uh, let me pull an or oracle card for you from Colette Baron Reed's oracle deck called The Wisdom of the Oracle. Uh, can I say oracle any more times? Uh, oracle, oracle, oracle. All right. Oracle, what messages do you have for Taurus? Ah. Hmm. 
We got two cards. Um, that fell out. We got the truth be told in reverse, and the uh, mending card upright. So let me read these to you. Truth be told. <laughs> I always see my dad so much in your readings, Taurus. My, I always say my dad looks like an owl. <laughs> this is an owl card. <laughs> okay, so he's reversed. So what he's saying is, where are you being dishonest with yourself or others? If you're unhappy in any area of your life, look for signs of denial. This can also pertain to others being misleading or withholding or acting from hidden agendas. Now is the time to say no to dishonesty in all forms and to ask for the truth. Even if you don't like what you hear, acknowledging it will be key to a beautiful new future, where you no longer labor under the heavy burdens that deceit and denial impose on you. Set yourself free. Nothing less than truth is required now. I think that will resonate with some of you, but um, I don't want to get into, that's a whole other reading, that one. Some of you, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll, that will resonate strongly. Because there's a distrust here, and I didn't even get into that. A distrust that fundamentally you have. And so, you know, don't think that your partner is doing anything. It's coming from a place of fear. They love you passionately and deeply. Okay. Um, and then the final card uh, that came out was the mending card. And I'm just going to really read the relationship portion of the upright uh, definition. And this says, sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding, and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude, and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Well, whatever that means, I guess that's part of the surprise for Tuna's bringing. You're going to be happy about it. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Taurus. hope it made some sense. Please leave positive comments below. If you didn't like the reading, I'm sorry. Um, try your moon sign or your rising sign. Or um, there's so many uh, YouTube readers. And I think I really do believe the universe made so many of us because they want to speak through to everyone. But they can't do it through just one person. We can only get little snippets, each one of us. So find the right reader for you. I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you so much. I'll see you in May. Bye and happy birthday to some of you. Bye-bye.